Hi, welcome again to Fifth Wheelers Australia. Today I'd like to show you the new uh, gooseneck towing hitch, three inch ball in the next gen Ford Ranger. It's the 2022 current model, and we've made a kit that's totally under the floor. Everything's under the tub, and you don't have to take the tub off to install it. I'll show you the kit first. So uh, there's two rails and a center box that holds the three inch ball. Um, and then there's a left and right hand bracket. Um, on the uh, passenger side, this little eight mil bolt um, locates the bracket. It's the brake tubing or brake pipe work bracket. You replace it with this 30 mil bolt. And on this side, another bolt goes in this side. You reuse the bolt from the handbrake cable. So uh, we, we bolt the system up and it goes in underneath. You do have to remove the guards. And what I've found a good way to do it, the inner guards here have got to come out. There's two huck uh, rivets in here and you can't get them out, too hard. So we use a 22 mil hole saw, set that up the drill with no pilot hole and, uh, and take the outers off the huck rivets and then you'll be able to pull the guard out. Um, and then we, we jack it up and start the install. The hole in the floor, 828 mil from this lip here at the end of the uh, floor of the tub. 92 mil hole saw through the floor. Now we've got that up in the air, we'll just have a look at what we have to remove from under the Ranger. First thing is we pull out this uh, heat shield. That's pretty straightforward. A little eight mil bolt there. Uh, then you take off this bracket here, which holds the handbrake cable and you keep the bolt because you're going to reuse this bolt and then on the passenger side you remove this brake bracket here and we give you a new 30 mil long bolt for that and now we come out here and you pair up the brackets so there's an inner and an outer bracket for each side and there's a little scallop here that's where the handle pulls in and out so you put that one with this one and they go together, those two. So after you've assembled this and talked it up on the bench, you bring it around here, these angles down to the bottom like this. You can put this up and over. It's pretty easy to fit. And you get it in there. And then once it's in, if you can come in here and have a look, there's a square there that we've put in it for the chassis. That tag there goes in the square like that. And the bolt that was in there goes back in the hole. And that pretty well lines it up in position. And then you install your two U-bolts from where the inner guards come out. You put the U-bolts through and there's four nuts you put on on the inside. And that pretty well sits up hard, really hard against this top hat. So that's the driver's side bracket. Now when you put the uh, passenger side in, you've got to put it in as a plate just on its own. So you put it in with the, the cutout here for the top hat. And you bring that up, slide it behind the bracket for the brake lines. You push it up, right up to the top. And then you get your U-bolt and you come around the back and you install one up the front like that and one up the back here. And they sort of go on an angle like that and you'll end up with one coming in under here. Load these 5.8 carriage bolts in, ready to roll. Up over the exhaust, past that wiring loom and then sort of push the heads against the top hat and they stay there. That's why you have to put them in first. Put your 916 bolts in, two in each end. We've got our little clip back on there. There was a hole for that to hold the brake lines. And we've got all that bolted up. Right, our front rail is in. Now, to put the rear rail in, the best way is up over this cross member and get it in and then roll it back into position. It goes outboard towards the rear of the two inner brackets. The rear rail has got some little 45s cut off it on each corner to help with the clearance from these tub mounts. So rear rail slightly different to the front rail. Now we're going to put in the centre box. The 
we grab the centre box, the handle goes on the driver's side. We're going to run it up there over those two 5.8 bolts. And rattle it in and then poke the neck up through the hole of the floor. And we've got another guy to pop that bolt in there. It's all loose at the moment because with them now we've got to measure and make sure all the bracketry centre. You know your hole centre. You've got to get the bracket centre now. Okay, we're nearing the completion of the job. The method to tighten everything up is to tighten the U-bolts first. That brings these plates parallel with the chassis and then stands up the little angles. So tighten those first, then tighten the 916 bolts. There's eight of those. Then tighten the two little bolts each side that we talked about before and then these big 5.8 bolts in the centre. Push it all the way up. Um, you've got your uh, ID plate there, your sticker. You've got this sticker for the door pillar of the vehicle. And then the last job is to install the handle. The handle goes through from the driver's wheel arch. You put the R clip in the centre box. I've done some diagrams here. Using this as a datum line, come straight across 165 mil from the screw hole to there, cut a 60 mil gap in line with the floor. The handle comes out and moves to the rear. Then you can remove the ball and then back in. It's done there. Put your fenders back in. That's it. The next gen three and a half ton towing kit from Fifth Wheelers Australia in Ballarat.